Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you have seen me then please subscribe and check out my last video which was my favourite beauty products that I use on a daily basis. Right so in today's video I thought I'd do a pregnancy must have video. Um, these are my personal must haves but I thought I would tell you guys about them. Also, I thought I'd do a pregnancy update kind of thing as I have spoken about pregnancy on my channel but I feel I don't feel as if I've told you much about my pregnancy, if that makes sense. First thing I shall be speaking about is Rennie's. Now, um, I've been getting really, really bad heartburn, which I will talk a bit more about in the next part of this video. But these have really, really, really helped with it, and um, I don't think I could sleep very well without them or eat a meal and feel satisfied after <laughs> without having a Rennie because my chest is on fire. But hey. And the next thing I spoke about in my last video, but I felt as if I needed to bring it into this video because it is a big part of my pregnancy. It is my Palmer's Coconut Oil. And yes, I did reorder some more and it came. This is a new tub. So exciting, I know. And Coconut Oil, which I have just started using. Um, I think I'm going to do like a January favourite, so kind of things that I have brought throughout January and used. I think this might be in it, but I, I have some things to say about it. Anyway, so I put these, this first, let this sink in, and then this recently. Um, all over my stomach, my, my belly, my thighs, my hips, anywhere where stretch marks are prone to, prone, is that? correct anyway stretch marks are prone to develop I guess from stretched skin so I haven't got any on my stomach or anything yet um, I will keep an eye on that and be sure to update you guys if I do get any stretch marks and I will definitely do a pregnancy update before I pop and I will let you know if these 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 have worked Yes, look out for that in a few weeks. The next thing I'd like to talk about <laughs> is, I wouldn't say it's like a must have, but it's something that I have grown to love a lot throughout my pregnancy. It's Lucasade. Now I know there's a lot of sugar and stuff in Lucasade, so I do try not to drink it often, but I would happily sit there and just drink this all day. I would say it's been one of my cravings. And because I am so, so tired throughout this whole pregnancy, which I will speak about in a sec, um, I feel as if it gives me a bit more energy when I do drink it and I just bloody love it. Not gonna lie, <laughs> it's fab. The next thing, bed socks. Um, I've just recently become addicted to bed socks. Help me, I am an addict, but seriously. Um, I got these ones from Primark and I have brought every single colour. They come in a pack of two and they are two pound. But yeah, these are in my video because they just make me feel snuggy and comfy and warm and I just proper love them. I have some in the start of my hospital bag, maybe a bit early at 24 weeks, but I don't care. I am a prepared person. I like being prepared. I will do a video on my on my hospital bag and my nappy bag because I've got two separate bags, one for me and one for the baby. I'll speak about that when it's closer to the time and I just need to make sure that I've got everything in there, etc. But yeah, love bed socks, they are awesome. I'd also like to speak about in this video, bath bombs. I have been using a lot of bath bombs recently because they just make me feel pretty and make me smell nice and I like watching them fizz in my bath. And this one smells like lemon. I'm like, ooh, lemons. This is from Lush and it's called Dragon Egg. I have not tried this one. But yeah, I did use a bath bomb today and I used Sex Bomb. And I used one the other day and I can't remember what it's called. It was blue and made my bath really blue and glittery. 
that was really fun cleaning but I have been using a lot of them as I've said I just love them I'd recommend getting some if you're pregnant if you're not pregnant just treat yourself and make yourself feel good and Lush is amazing I love Lush I might just literally buy a load of things from Lush that I love just so I can make a video that will be my excuse for spending so much in Lush <sighs> next a big pillow my big pregnancy pillow um I would not be able to sleep comfortably without it I just put it between my legs like this or I just kind of spoon it and it just really really helps support my back um, I have been getting a lot of bad back pain during pregnancy and it has helped I still wake up during the night sometimes with backache but I feel as if it'd be a lot worse if I didn't have it and I've had this since just before Christmas that's what let's say two months I've had it and it has made a big big difference I couldn't sleep without it and I love it first thing I'd like to talk about is leggings I never really used to wear leggings before I was pregnant and more of a jeans kind of gal but I've noticed that maternity trousers are so expensive like for you know a pair of jeans they're expensive for what they are so I have invested in like 17,000 pairs of leggings they are so comfy and they are much much more cheaper than maternity wear so to be fair I kind of wish that I didn't buy a bunch of jeans I wish I brought one pair of maternity jeans just what I feel fancy and the rest leggings and trackies and stuff because I've learned over the past few weeks that it makes more sense to be a lot more comfortable than actually looking good because when I feel as if I look good but I'm not comfortable I feel miserable and yeah it's not good no one likes a miserable pregnant person uh, so next I thought I would just give you guys a bit of an update on my pregnancy as I said before I don't really feel as if I've spoke about it so I thought I'd just tell you guys some of my symptoms and stuff so everyone else seems to do in a pregnancy update so so like I said before I've been getting really really bad heartburn to the point where my chest feels like it's on fire um, I did have really bad acid reflux before I was pregnant and I was on medication for that by the doctors and when I told the doctors I was pregnant they took me off it because apparently it's not good for you during pregnancy and it did settle down I didn't really have a problem with heartburn for the first few weeks and then I just started to get mild heartburn and as I've got more pregnant it's got more worse to the point now where if I do have it really really bad um, I can't sleep it seems to be worse when I lay down but Rennie's yes the last two weeks i have noticed that i have been very hungry all the time especially late at night i could devour an entire horse like an entire herd of cows like i don't know i don't know if, he, if he's having a gross spurt or something but i have been so so hungry yeah really hungry and then i've had the usual been really really tired but I think that's to do with the fact that I keep waking up with back pain and heartburn but I have been really really tired and back pain and I have been needing to pee a lot and that wakes me up about three times during the night so no wonder I'm tired because I just don't sleep I just pee and moan that my back hurts and my heart is on fire so that's it for today's video guys video guys thank you for watching and don't forget to thumbs up this video and to subscribe to see more awesomeness go on subscribe here and, and share with your friends maybe that'd be great <laughs>